Ever wonder uh, that, uh, to do, how to do multitasking iOS? So the, the latest version now brings that. So watch the late video to learn how. Hello everyone, what is the lesson today? I'm going to show you a way to actually uh, do multitasking in iOS. So the first thing is that in this example, I'm going to show you a video. So um, I'm going to just play it. Yeah, so basically, this will not work in the Photos app. You have to use the video. So then you have to press the right on the right corner. Corner. Yeah, you can. You have to press that button, and then you can just close up the video and basically do anything you, you, what you want to the video. You can close the video by pressing the X button. You can actually go back in full screen. Uh, and, and the, but then and also you can pause the video. So eventually, you can even it will uh, surprisingly enough, this will work as a desktop that the video shows up in the uh, the home screen. So the next thing I will show you is eventually you know, multitasking by browsing. For example, in Safari, what I'm doing. And they're going to just actually find the app, for example, the clock app. So uh, if I wanted to put a timer while I'm doing some work, I could do that. But the only problem, they didn't you can actually put lining. As you can, the only find this feature works only with uh, specific apps, and also the I mean, it's the centering feature that works on PCs everywhere. And also, um, whenever you go into a uh, normal mode, when you ever click on the screen, you the app goes away. So that is a little bit of a drawback, and this only works with specific apps. I wish it worked with other apps also. But eventually, there's more. <laughs> there actually, you can do a lot of stuff here, and also you can do like close back. Okay, so subscribe to my channel, like this video, and check out my last video. So this is Christina's lessons. So the to to dance with Christina's. So uh, share the video on the internet. So thank you for watching the lesson. Bye.